Where were you when you first heard about the 9-11 attacks? I was still in Cagayan de Oro City back in the Philippines. I was uh, working uh, as a salesman by then. But uh, when they flashed the news on TV, I was at home and I was glued to the TV and I couldn't believe what I was seeing. What did you see on TV? I saw the Twin Towers uh, smoking. I mean, it was a surreal moment wherein everybody was panicking. They're showing so many images on TV, but what stands out is the, uh, the building up in smokes and there was just like so many, so much commotion in the street and people are yelling. And that was like a situation or a scene that I have never seen before. Can you describe the effect upon you and others in the Philippines? And how did people respond to these attacks? My immediate thought was really for those who have lost their lives in the attack and I couldn't even believe that you know, they, they were targeting civilians, much more those who are you know, just expecting to go at work and with the attacks that was going on, I mean, they lost their lives in the process. It's so disheartening to, to, to know that even the civilians are the target of these terroristic attacks. Since we were planning to go to the U.S. six months after the attack, how did you feel about going to America? Were you worried? Oh, definitely I am. I mean, if you have those attacks going on in America, I mean, what assurance I have that I wouldn't be subjected to such a situation, especially considering I'll be bringing my family with me. So I'm also terrified, I'm also worried, and really thinking twice about going to America at that time. How well do you think the world has recovered since the attack, and what do you think we still need to fix? The world woke up to the fact that there will always be people that is against having freedom. The freedom to live life the way they want to live, the freedom to express their views and opinions on things, and the freedom to determine what they want to do with their lives. The world is recovering with this understanding and that to remain steadfast and committed to protect this freedom at all costs. Patrick Henry said, Give me liberty or give me death. Each of us believe and enjoy this freedom, and we should be thankful to every single leader, the soldiers who protect this freedom each and every day. We need to spread the value of peace amongst countries and that we can live harmoniously despite differences of beliefs and opinions.